Well, as you guys know, it's two years today. Doesn't yep. see Yep, got my Bob shirt on. It almost gets weirder as time goes on because I'm like, wow, it's been a it's been a long time since I've heard from Bob. And I'm like, oh, you know, like it's it's so weird to have gone two years without getting a crazy long text from him or yeah a neurotic phone call or you know it's just it's so weird that it's been two years i can't tell you how many times i will be somewhere just out in a or something and i see out of the corner of my eye someone that like in my peripheral looks like bob and i'll it, it has stopped me more than once it's like a stick like when he passed you know it's like a you, like a poke you're getting poke 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 and then eventually it never goes away it's just you know, it's just there and you get used to it, but like, I don't even want to get used to it. I think I still want to be, you know, hurting from it, but he doesn't want us to be that way, right? I just saw one of the, those little birds you did? a couple of days ago. There were just so many on the day he died a couple of years ago that were in my yard. The birds just reminded me of him in spirit saying like, I'm here and I love you. And it was just like, okay, I see you, Bob. Bob would always call me to sing a song in falsetto. It was usually a Christmas song. <laughs> and he would just go on for five minutes. And I'd say, Bob, how are you? And he's like, don't interrupt. <laughs> I've never seen these videos. Yeah, I, I, I put this aside for you, but he was oh my the God, You're making me cry right oh, now. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't mean it's that. Awesome. Yeah, you know, it's just awesome to watch. I've not, I've not oh even watched God. my wedding video in 27 years. Oh, I don't oh know, my Janice, gosh. I, mean, I just, I, no, I actually, that was I so special. Go, I, look what Bob gave us. He, he gave us this. He gave us this moment right here. Always keep that person alive somehow and and that's what we're doing and i think through grief that's a really important thing to remember is to 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 keep them alive just by talking about them and celebrating them and 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 remembering them in a way that that they would want you to i think the biggest thing i learned through this because bob's the closest person i've lost in my life so far is that it's been so nice to have people just sit in the grief with you. And I never realized that before. Like, I didn't know how to be with someone else who is grieving. And when you just have a friend or it's your family member, but someone who doesn't need to talk, doesn't need to say anything, but will just sit with you and let you cry. It's, it's been a gift. Grief is just love unreturned. You know, and it just means that you love someone so much, but you're not, you can't get it back in the same way anymore. And so it's like unrequited love, right? It's this love that keeps on and it never, you, you can't get it back. And so like, instead, like celebrating it and like Candace was saying too, like just sitting in it sometimes. Jim Carrey said it really great. Jim said, Bob wasn't something that was taken from us. It was something that was, he was someone that was given yeah. to us. And he yeah. built a cathedral of love. He said, cathedral of love. He did. Yeah.